Hey there, my name is Zimri Mayfield. Welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be going through three kinds of flat design long shadows. And then we're going to create a project that incorporates all three kinds. So to begin with, let's go through the first kind of flat design long shadow. I'll show you how to make it, what it looks like, and some pros and cons. So I just filled in the background with this dark blue because it looks nicer and then I made a circle and filled it with orange okay now that we have the object let's create the first kind of flat design long shadow this is by far the most unrealistic of the three but the easiest to make so we're just gonna grab the pen tool go from the top here hold shift while we click out that'll make a 45 degree angle hold shift again make another 45 and one more time as you can see and then we'll just complete the shape as you can see it didn't end on that side of the circle so I'm gonna select both of these points and drag them in a little bit more still not lining up let's zoom in some and then let's grab the point again by pressing a and then we'll move it in there perfect okay let's make our shadow black move this circle to the front by pressing control shift right bracket okay now the shadow will make transparency 30 percent okay this is the first kind of flat design long shadow it's solid that's why it's the most unrealistic and you'll find this online on um, flat design icons a lot but it's weird because it ends abruptly so that's why most of the time you'll find the icon is is in some sort of container, whether it's a circle or a square or a rectangle. I'm gonna make a square here and move that to the back and move this to the back. And let's make this a different color. Let's make it, yeah, sure, let's make it this color. Okay, so now to get rid of this outside of here, we're gonna grab this container, press Control C, Control F to paste in front, we're going to select the top one and select the, the shade and then hit the third option in our Pathfinder, Intersect. That got rid of everything that was outside of the square. Okay, great. So that's the first kind of flat design long shadow. The positives are that it's very simple to make and it's unrealistic if you don't want your design to be too realistic. The negatives are that it kind of has to be in a container. It can't just be on a big background because it ends very abruptly okay let's grab that control g make it a group bring it over here that's the first kind of ooh, flat design long shadow okay let's work on the second one so let's create the same shape a circle fill it with orange this one is mm, semi-realistic but it's not the most realistic of the three and to create this what i like to do is i like to grab the line segment tool by pressing the back what is that called i don't know what that's yeah backslash <laughs> okay got it and then we'll create a line that goes from the top right to the bottom left of the circle by clicking and dragging let's actually go through the middle right like that and then it has no width so we want to press stroke and up the width let's do it to about four and then we'll press Control c Control f now we have two on top of each other. I'm gonna grab the top one, holding shift. I'm gonna drag it out. Holding shift means it's at 45 degree angle from there. So we'll grab the bottom one down here. Transparency, bring it to zero. Because we want our shadow to go from full shadow to nothingness. So now if we select both of these lines, we wanna go over here to blend tool, double click that and that will bring up our blend options. We want to go spacing the drop down box. We want specified distance of one pixel. If yours is different, just bring it down to specified distance one pixel. Press OK. Now we have both of them selected. We'll go object, blend, make. Now we have this and we'll bring our circle to the top by pressing control, shift, right bracket, something like this. And we can always change how long we want the shadow by just selecting that. And I'm gonna bring this down to about 40%. Let's bring it down to 30. 
just like that. And so you can tell this is a bit more realistic than our first kind, which means the positives are, the positives are the first one, it's pretty easy to make. It's not as hard as the last kind. Uh, the second positive is it's a little bit more realistic than the first one, if that's the kind of design you want. And the third positive is it doesn't need a container because it blends into the background a lot better than the first kind. Negatives are it takes a little bit longer to make. So let's drag that over, and that's the second kind. Okay, let's work on the third and final kind. We're going to create our circle again, just like that. It's outline, we'll switch it back and make it orange. There we are. Let's make our circle a bit smaller though. Something like that will be fine. Okay, now what we need to do is press, select it, press Control C to copy it, then press Control B twice. One, two. Now we have three circles all on top of each other. What we want to do is take the first one, make it invisible. Take the second one, make it all black. Uh, no, that, control Z that. Actually, we want the second one. Sorry, I had the wrong one selected. We want that one to be all black. And then the third one, actually, we want to make that one all black also. So what we want to do is move our third circle out and hold shift, drag it over here where we want our shadow to end. And just like the line we made before, we want this one to be invisible. Then we'll select both of these, and because we already have our blend option set to specify distance one pixel, we'll be fine to just go Object, Blend, Make. There we have it. And now we'll bring this down to 30%, and then we'll hit the eyeball to bring back the top circle. So that's what we have, our third and final kind of flat design long shadow. So you can tell the difference here is that our second kind just ends flat. You'll see that quite often. And then this kind is the most realistic because it follows the shape of the object that we make. So see how that um, the shadow is rounded, just like the circle. And if we had a weird shaped item, then our shadow would also be weirdly shaped. OK, cool. So now that I've gone over the three kinds of flat design shadows and how to make them, Let's create a project that incorporates all three kinds. For this, I'm going to create a camera, because I really like cameras. I, don't know, I just think they're cool. <laughs> so I'm going to press M to get the box tool, create kind of a, kind of a rectangle, but a little bit of a box. This will be the body of our camera. Uh, let's make it a bit taller. OK, that'll be fine. So now let's create the lens part. I'm going to grab red. Press L to get the circle tool, find the middle, drag out, and then press Control C, Control F. Now I have two on top of each other. The top one I'm going to shrink down by pressing Control, no, Alt and Shift at the same time. That will scale it in place. So now what I want to do is, once I have it about the size that I want, I'm going to select this circle and that circle, and go to Pathfinder, then hit minus front. So that'll give us a nice shape in the middle. Now I'm going to press L, try to find the center of that circle I just made. And I'm going to create another circle and give it a light gray. Grab this red, bring it to the front by pressing Control, Shift, right bracket. Good. Now that we have our lens holder thing here, let's scale it down a little bit more, move it to the left. And now let's create the flash. So let's create another square over here. And let's make it yellow, something like that. Actually, I want these rectangles to be round. So let's go Effect, Convert to Shape, Rounded Rectangle. Let me change it to 0, 0, and I think 15 will be good. I'm going to hit OK on that. And now we have nice rounded edges. And I'm going to go Object, Expand Appearance. Because if you don't expand the appearance, at least in CS6, and, you, and I scale this after making it into a rounded rectangle, um, the rounded edges will be crazy when I scale it. So I'm going to repeat that process again for this. Convert to shape, rounded rectangle. And I wish this had saved my settings, but I, it doesn't apparently. So it's, we're going to put 0, 0, 15. Okay, 
and then I'm going to object expand appearance on that as well. Okay, we're looking good. I think actually I might. No. Okay, yeah. So what I'm going to do is copy this and paste it again. Control C, Control V, and we'll make this our camera button. So we want it to be behind the body. So let's select everything except for the background and press Control Shift Right Bracket to bring it above. Let's make this um, red. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, let's scale this up a bit bigger, I think. Put it about there. Now we almost have the whole thing done. Let's create a band, something like a middle band there. And let's make it dark orange. And let's bring this and this. Well, let's try this again. This and this to the front. Okay, cool. Let's make our band a bit wider. Okay, our camera is finished. Not yet. Spoke too soon. Let's make this a bit smaller and bring it to the left. All right, great. So now let's start incorporating our three kinds of flat design long shadows. Let's start with the second one first. A cool application might be we put this to use on our lens here. So remember how to do that. We'll press the backslash button, create a line from there to there by clicking and dragging, and then it's already width that uh, is at four. So what I'm going to do is press Control C. Never mind, I hit Control V. <laughs> okay, press Control Z and then Control. No, Control C copies it. Then press Control F to paste it on top. Now we'll grab the top one, holding Shift. We'll drag it out to about there. Okay, now that we have them both, the bottom one we want to have transparency zero. Select that. Object, blend, make. And our blend is already good because our settings have been like that for a while. So now we want to bring that to about 30, which is good. Okay, so now we want to select both of these, press Control, Shift, right bracket to bring it to the top. So you can see our shadow's looking pretty good, but it goes outside our camera, right? So to get rid of the outside, I'm going to create a clipping mask. So I'm going to grab this whole square, which is the size of our, the body of our camera. I'm going to press Control C, Control F. And that top one, I'm going to bring to the very top of everything. So I'm going to go Control, Shift, right bracket. Now it's on top of everything. And I'm going to select that. And I'm going to select this also. What I want to do is create a clipping mask. To do that, I press Control, 7. So that got rid of anything that was outside of that square I made. Now, what we got to do is bring these to the top of the shadow. And just like that, we utilized the second kind of flat design shadow on our lens holder here. Cool. Let's next work on the first kind of flat design sh long shadow. So I'm going to select everything. Uh, let's make this camera a group. Press Control G. Okay, now it's a group. I'm going to shrink it down. And remember how for the first kind of flat design shadow, it kind of needs to be in a container. So I'm going to create a circle for this one. So I'm going to Grab the middle or whatever seems to be the middle. Send it to the back. Send our background further back. And now let's make it a different color. Let's make it light blue. Okay, that's fine. Now let's see if we can. Let's grab that and that and see if we can center it. Good. That'll be fine. Okay, so for the first long shadow, what we do is we'll just grab the pen tool, press P, hit the top right of this shape, click once, hold shift, click again, that makes a 45 degree angle, and then click over again, then try to hit there, <gasps> it worked perfectly, I hit it basically exactly right, okay good, now we'll just finish out that square, and I didn't actually hit it exactly right, so I'm just going to grab that. Click A so I can grab this point and then put it up onto the camera a little bit better. Just like that. And then we'll make this black. And we'll make it 30%. Grab our camera. Control, Shift, right bracket. Bring it to the top. And then we have to cut out everything that's outside of the circle. So we technically could make a clipping mask. But another way we can do it is to press, is to select the circle. Press Control, C. 
control F. Now we have two on top of each other. Select the top circle and select the shadow and hit the third option, intersect. Just like that, we got rid of everything that was outside the circle. Okay, cool. So now we've used our second style, which is semi-realistic, coming off of this lens here. And then we used our first style, which is unrealistic, to create the shadow here. And now let's go with our third and final, final style, the most realistic. So for this, I'm going to select everything here, shrink this all down so we can see, there are, see our effects here. And now I'm going to just do the circle. So now that I have the circle selected, I'm going to press Control C. Well, actually, you know what we should do to make this a little bit more simplified? Let's move out the camera. Let's move it out for a second. Now we can work with this a lot easier. Okay, so now we have the circle. We're gonna press Control C, Control B twice. Now we have three circles on top of each other. So the first one, let's see if we can find them. Here we are. The first one, we want to be invisible. The second one, we want black. I didn't have it selected, sorry. The, the mid, second one, we want to have black. And the bottom one, we want to have black too. We have the bottom one selected. Let's use the arrow keys to bring it out so we can select it. And then hold shift to wherever we want our shadow to end. About there is fine. So this circle we want to be, remember, we want this one to be zero because we want our shadow to end in nothingness. So we're gonna select both of these circles now. And we're gonna go object, blend, make. And it's awesome. So let's change the transparency of the blend we made to 30%. And now let's go back to our layer, find our blue circle that we made invisible, bring it back. And now let's bring back all this, see if we can put it in place where it was before, just like that. So what we've done here is Let's move it up some. Actually, this, um, I'm just checking to see if the shadow goes outside the box. It does. So what we need to do is cut off the end of this by control seeing the background. So press control C and then press control F. And now we'll bring it control shift right bracket. Sorry, control shift right bracket. We'll bring it to the top. So we would need to select that and select the blend we just made. We'll create a clipping mask again. Control seven, create that clipping mask. And now our shadow is cut off outside of that square. So in this tutorial, what we did was we created the first kind of flat design shadow right here which is the least realistic and it has to be in a container. So that's why we, it doesn't have to be, but it looks best when it is. So that's why we put it in a circle. Then we did the second one, which is this semi-realistic shadow here that comes off the lens. And then for the third, we made this most realistic one. So I really hope you enjoyed this detailing of the three kinds of flat design long shadows. If there's more kinds, <laughs> please leave a comment. Say, hey, Zim, there's actually another one. That would be really cool too. Um, yeah, I hope you really enjoyed. And if you liked it, hit subscribe because it really makes my day. And you can always like the video. Okay, thanks so much. Catch you next time. Bye.